behind him with two rats, one controller. Yeah, just a little bit of chip damage coming in there, I think was enough to, to help that one out. Furia. Oh, cleaning things up though, the speed run. Finding 07, engaging on this fight, oh. and look who is waiting on the outskirts. It is TSM trying to capitalize off of this, trying to prevent them from trying to reset. Now remember, TSM need a decent series here. Unlike in times past, they have not locked things in by now. They cannot rest on their laurels. They want to make it to winner's bracket. They have to keep going here. At least they're going to be able to get some extra loot here before they make that next decision, especially since Reps has a smoke in case they want to get out of this building here. But about the information that they just scanned, the building to their north, Oxygen being able to get out of that fight as well as Dark Zero kind of coexisting alongside them here. Nice little flyby. You can see Oxygen in that high ground building, but it is LG closer to the Sniper Tower where moving onto a position like that early game could be a little scary because you have a lot of open positioning for other squads to try to find an opening and keep you in their line of sight as well. As you can see, Sweet is going to be able to get rezzed. They play the Caravan. It's the perfect spot. If you've got a Watson, they don't have a Watson. They've got a Caustic, that makes it an okay spot. Uh, but as many teams start to pull up around them, as they will, the circle is definitely shifting towards that caravan. It's gone north and north. It won't finish on top of the tunnel, which means the only real playable space is um, this caravan that we've got here. Uh, even crazier, Sweet was truly on the sticks. I mean, he had dropped the Mosem at one point. He only had the Havoc. He picks it up from the truck. It looks like maybe they were swapping some things there. But while playing patiently and rotating there as early as they did, they're going to be sticking onto maybe Blue Evils for a majority of this mid game here, unless they could get some poke damage from the squads that are going to be rotating like boogie boarders out of this grandma house. I think it's a good spot for boogie boarders, actually. But uh, a couple of teams finally make their way to survey camp. Essentially just the teams that were playing Edge, Kinotrope moving through Epicenter earlier, obviously, and uh, 2R1C as well. Nice getting rid of that Crypto Drone for right now, seeing the team that's inside the building to their left, making sure that no other spots try to come up the third party because guess who's waiting? Aside from two reps with controller on the other side, Virtus Pro maybe trying to see if they could have an opportunity. This is the team that's been holding that north side of the train track tunnel. Kino Jump don't like this position with 13 squads left. Round three closing in. They want to hold the edge of the circle to see if they can capitalize on one tappy. Having to pop the shield back for right now, trying to give some suppressed fire at the squad Made in Heaven, who have already tried to rotate through that next choke. Yeah, it's a much better spot for Made in Heaven. Uh, a small part of that tunnel will be in the next zone and the zone afterwards. So they really want to... Uh, you, you know, you've got a couple of different off, uh, avenues that you need to hold on to. You've got to look north, you've got to look south through that tunnel, and then you need to make sure um, that once all that is said and done, the zone closes, and then you can move in towards LG, uh, towards that cavern. But at that point, you know, your back will be locked off, you'll have the tunnel around you, you'll be so safe. So if made in heaven, don't get caught off here, because they are quite split right now. Um, they could be in a good spot. Now, Virtus Pro, they're the ones to the north. Um, they've got to deal with two rats, one controller, and it made in heaven. So why don't we listen and see how their next rotation occurs? Someone can, like, walk back up our, tra our tracks, by the way, yeah. because I'm not looking yeah. at it right now. Back, back. We're, we're coming back. We're coming back. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking going back to west side. Yep. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to chill here. And make sure this team, like, Watch if they want to come around, I'm going to core scout them. Okay. Watch out. I should have, like, I might get kills this side. Just tell me immediately if they're fucking coming in. They should go into the middle. Yeah, we got to roll the middle. We, we can look to clear tunnel this zone as well. Because yeah. I don't think, I don't think, no, this. I mean, they, like, realistically, they should try and, like, fight fight out for the other side. But, but we can definitely try and kill them. Bye, mate. I tried to smoke for you, tried to smoke for you. Yep. Push it up. You pop handle, pop handle. Yep. Bum, bum. Get back to the heady. Come in, hand up. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to kill these guys. Yeah. I see nothing so far. Let us I'm scanning. Look my yep. scan. We can push them out. Just, just force them back, force them back. Yeah, I'm playing the guy heavy. Yep. They're not close. 60, 60 on one. Nice. Yeah. Wait, wait, two, 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 two way back, two way back, two way back. 
They might, they, they might have all gone back. No, no, I think they're heavy. Oh, no, no. Oh, I'm, I'm close, close, that heady. Yeah, do it. They can't, they, scan? Uh, okay. three seconds. Three, two, one, scanning. In gas, in gas. Yeah, I need it for well, it was a scary moment there for Pricey. He backs off, and I really thought um, Wei and Sharky could have pressed up there just to buy him a little bit more space, but luckily for Verda's Pro, two R1C are a little too scared. Some well-placed Thermites keep them at bay. Eventually, they're going to have to push in, but you can see they're starting to get the uh, the better of two R1C. Especially getting that knock right afterwards, getting those blue evils right back up to purple now. Two oh. R1C! They try to engage on that fight. They even had the health advantage, but like you said, GM taking way too long while Made in Heaven as a duo try to approach from the tunnel side, getting pinched with their backs against the circle and boogie borders on the other side. Who literally one shot, but he was able to pull off that shield bat at the very end, running double energy for now. You heard the piece of a hunt being activated, but trying to avoid the onslaught of nades getting hurled in their direction. I believe that's LG trying to take the fight. It is, it is sweet rolling in on this fight. Okay, LG, they try and go proactive. They're worried about this team on the hill, but with Slayer going down first, <sighs> LG, is that a move that they're going to regret? You know, aside from the smokes here, they are on the sticks, literally. Look at this. He got one syringe, two shield cells. He does have the Kraber, though. Make magic happen. We got to see. I'm expecting that maybe Funk is in a similar situation. And the truck, while all of that was happening, made in heaven just for free? And they're a duo as well, right? So you've got a two on two. Um, and they've got Funk with the Bloodhound, right? So I think they've identified that. And they say, oh. hey, we can take this. It's a fair 2v2, but they still don't get there. Made in heaven go down as well. Was that the cause to gas? No, that, honestly, TSM on the roof. The audience seeing that from a distance. Reps cleaning that up. Perfect shots, perfect positioning for TSM to take those shots at LG when they were trying to engage. But now the real question is, what are Verna's Pro going to do? Just to let you know, they're still in the tunnel at this point. They had a chance to go out. They could have come back in towards that caravan. But now I think they've actually waited too long. Or should I say, I think they... Oh, no, okay. All right, all right. They've got time to get out on the tracks. I guess uh, as far as the mini-map goes, it looks like they can't get out from there. But yeah, as you can see, um, they can just play the top. There's just not a lot of cover. Dark Zero below them. We haven't seen much from them this game. They've just been biding their time. But hey, they've made top four. That's already at least five placement points. Huge here, too, for TSM, as they're still going to be a bit in the circle on the lip of this rooftop building. They're not going to be allowing Virtus Pro to get that free rotate. Because if it isn't just TSM that has them in their line of sight, we know it's Dark Zero right below them. And Dark Zero, this is huge information for TSM. Oh. Because they now know that the team below them has the evil shield, which is why Dark Zero is so desperate to try to take some shots at Virtus Pro to maybe see if they can perform a little bit of damage. Yeah, Zero barely just getting away from that one. Might be happy that it was the M&K player, not the controller being able to dance oh. away. How getting shot in the middle of this rotate, going right through the zip line. And that was all because Oxygen Esports that were sharing the low ground part of the building have now climbed their way up and have taken that same exact spot. But could be way better for TSM. They got the res and they're going to be able to get the reset. Oh, that's huge getting Hal back into the fight. And not only that, securing this high ground. Virtus Pro on the high ground above them. The higher ground, I guess you could say. DZ, they're just trying to live. Can't make this up. The scriptwriters are working in overtime right now while Oxygen Esports are finding themselves back in the Damn. lobby. Three squads left. Virtus Pro, Dark Zero, and TSM. Okay, so Virtus Pro, they throw the bang ult to the left so that they can try and engage on Dark Zero now with Wei popping the beast of the hunt. They know this is the time to go in. They're gonna clean them up. Oh, and now TSM, this is the green light, Dark Zero. They get eliminated. It is Virtus Pro versus TSM, and Virtus 
We're trying to get the reset here. Pricey in a bit of trouble. Sharky loses on his shield. He gets deleted by Verhold. TSM are looking to make a statement, taking game number one on World's Edge.